Ann Gilbert's push to get a soccer stadium in Detroit one big step closer to reality today. Wayne County and the city of Detroit have reached a deal to swap pieces of land. And while that may seem insignificant, this deal paves the way for a new justice center near Eastern Market and says so long to the eyesore next to Ford Field. Jason Colthorpe is live there to uh, show us how it all works. Jason, I guess you could say there's a lot of moving pieces here. Yeah, and envision those moving pieces as dominoes, Kimberly, because one certainly has to fall before the next one can, and today was a pretty big domino. And a lot, it, what it does is it gives the county that other piece of land it needs to unload this piece of land. And uh, obviously you say eyesore, a lot of people think of it this way. Now this is a key step before they can finally get rid of this abandoned concrete and overgrown weeds. The city of Detroit and Wayne County have made a trade. It's pretty simple. Wayne County gets the DDOT property at I-75 and East Warren, where, if the rest of the plan falls into place, a new criminal justice complex, including a new jail, will be built. In exchange, the city gets the old American Motors headquarters on Plymouth Road on the city's west side. This land swap clears the way for Dan Gilbert's Rock Ventures to finalize the deal to buy the Gratiot property and build a possible pro soccer stadium and mixed use development. It is exciting, really exciting. I, I'm, I'm a soccer fan and I love soccer. And that's why I'm excited about it, not just the business. Businesses are excited, but preparing for an ebb and flow of customers. We do a lot, this area especially, from the justice, from the court, from the jail, all the people work there. We have a lot of traffic on them too. So I don't know if that's going to affect a little bit till they build everything. Others have their own concerns. It could work, but... Um, you're skeptical. Very much so. Why? <sighs> he just owns everything. So yeah. you're worried about another Dan Gilbert owned property? Absolutely. Now that said, she is very much in favor of getting rid of this eyesore. It's just the word everybody seems to use is what this unfinished jail has become to everybody. And she lives over here by Gratiot, so she sees it every day. Now as for the old uh, AMC headquarters the city now has, it plans to redevelop it. No timetable on when or what that could turn into, but Mayor Mike Duggan, very excited about it, calls the whole thing a win-win for the city and Wayne County. Kimberly? So much exciting stuff going on. So, Jason, as far as the county's backup plan goes, is that still in place? Or are they pretty much all in with Rock Ventures here? Right. We cannot forget about the, uh, the backup plan, which is to finish this as the brand new Wayne County Jail. Uh, it is still in place. In fact, the deadline for that with Walsh Construction is coming up in about two weeks, the end of this month. Right now, the county has asked for an extension of that plan to, make, to see if they can finalize things with Dan Gilbert's group to make sure they have everything in place in case one thing does fall through. We'll wait and see, Kim. Yep, stay tuned. Okay, Jason, thanks.